Hey guys, Sean C. Phillips here on my brand new Dollar Tree Dollar DVD and Blu-ray hunting video. Yes, I have heard that the Dollar Tree has in new DVDs, you know, new Dollar DVDs and Blu-rays. I've gotten a lot of messages about it. I haven't looked, you know, online though to see any pictures or any videos or anything like that of, you know, what people have found. So I have like no idea this time around like what's going to be in there. All I've heard though is people have said there's a lot of like horror titles, a lot of horror movies and stuff this time around. At least that's what from some of the messages that I've gotten. So fingers crossed, hopefully they have some stuff in there. I haven't called this local. Location. This is the one that's always the, the best one for having the movies out, but I normally call, but I haven't done it yet. So, like I said, fingers crossed. Hopefully they have new stuff in there, but let the Dollar Tree Dollar DVD and Blu-ray hunting video begin. But taking a look here on the front window thing, it has like the weekly wow thing. And it just shows like, you know, you know, Kleenexes and stuff like that. So it doesn't show the movies. Usually it shows them. Not always though, but we'll see. But yeah, you can see right in the front for the weekly wow, it's just, you know, a bunch of Kleenex boxes and stuff like that here. But in this one, they never put them in the front of this location. At least I've noticed. They're always back. And maybe they did last time. I can't remember, but I feel like they normally don't. And usually, uh, I've always noticed with the movies, right before they switch out to the DVDs, for some reason, it's always usually the solar lights are there first. And for some reason, the week when you see these, then no, the movies are going to come right after. I have no idea why it's always like that. But at least I've always sort of noticed. It's the solar lights, and then the movie's out. But let's see, though where the movies are. They're usually down here. Oh yeah, see, they're totally full up. So there's a ton of stuff in here. So let's see what's in here. And I don't think these are movies as well. And I think these are just like, I think these are just like random, like something or other. But let's see what's in here. It definitely looks like a lot of stuff. So hopefully it's some new things. And I'm seeing a bunch of things. Like I said, it's, it looks like a bunch of different stuff in here I'm seeing. So let's go through and see what's in here and everything. And see what's new and everything like annoying orange and that was one of those things that like you know was a one of the early youtube stuff i always remember Let's see it's a batman dc superheroes this is like a kind of a batman collection thing in here fake preacher that's definitely a new one more annoying orange awake is that the one yeah this was like kind of an interesting movie i remember with like he and christensen like he was like stuck in some kind of a coma or something like that or something weird was going on with him but i remember kind of liking that one batman dire of the dead in here corporate animals this one if you guys come across this one this was pretty good about people going on like a um like a corporate trip together to go and like go in this mountain and like go through the tunnel and stuff and they end up getting trapped in there and they all kind of crack up and everything but it was it was actually a pretty fun one though if you guys come across that one in here some more dc lego one fish tales Rise of the Clan, um, Clans here, like a BBC thing. This is like a Secret Life of Pets kind of knockoff thing. You know, <laughs> cats, kind of funny. The Sea, that's definitely a new one. This one I've never seen, this Gun Gansfield Haunting one. Some Billy Zane one here. Probably get that one. That, that's like a Walmart Select, so this was like a Canadian release in here. Let's see. Like I said, that's when I had heard that there was a lot of horror ones that had shown up in here. Like I said, I didn't know which ones though. And some people were saying they were seeing like a lot of high octane uh, pictures releases and they do a lot of horror movies and stuff like that. Let's see, some of these ones I have seen before, like Sushi Girl has been in here, Ava's Possession, last one out, I think I saw that last time in here. Some more uh, uh, Justice League one, You Might Be the Killer. Let's see, some of these ones I've definitely seen before. Dark House. I don't think I've got, I don't think I remember buying that one before. Let's see, a lot of these animated ones, they're like Ice Princess that are kind of like, sort of like knockoffs of other things. They have a lot of those in here you see. Definitely not seen this one, The Program, Ben Foster movie. Not seen that one. Uh, Inmate Zone, Zombie One, I, I know I bought that one before. I don't think I've seen it in here though before. Army of the, oh no, Anger of the Dead here. This would be a good one to have coming out now to like tie in with Army of the Dead. You know, re-release this. I don't think I've seen this one before or not. Don't know, Finding Phil, Clear Shot, Backup Dancer, in other words. Yeah, definitely a lot of different ones in here. Let's see. More Batman, uh, Dark Knight one. This one, I think I got, I bought this one here, The Curse of, you know, this Bucket Road. I, I think I bought that one before, pretty sure. TNT, like a movie collection. Afterscape, Being Elmo, a documentary on Elmo. 
Mother Krampus. Uh, last days on Mars. So I make sure I don't miss over anything. There's a lot of stuff like this I can skip them and then by mistake. Trek, I've seen that before in here. That was a cool one. Jamie Kennedy one, horror movie. Life form. Here, like a wild eye one. See the giant pear. It's like a James the Giant Peach kind of one. This was a fun, like a death kiss. The guy that looks like Charles Bronson, that actor that they found. It's like so much like him. Let's see, Driven. I don't know this one. Atrium. Oh yeah, this is one that I was interested in seeing. This is um, I think I heard decent things about this one. I've never actually sold this in person anywhere for sale for a dollar though. Definitely gonna get that one for a dollar. I remember hearing some decent things about this one, but I don't think they even had it in Walmart from what I can remember. So there's definitely some, a lot of horror ones in here. This one here, the Boogeyman one. I don't remember ever seeing this one in Walmart. Like all these horror ones I usually just get if I come across them and don't have them. Let's see, Mother Krampus. The, this one, I, I, I have this one, this Mirror Savarty one. Got that before. Uh, this one, Scout Compton movie, Feral. I believe that was been in here before. Hostage, Batman. Oh, this is like a Danny Trejo one. I don't remember seeing this one either. There's definitely a lot of interesting ones in here right now. Let's see. The shop. What is this one? There's some kind of... Let's see. A giant pear. Another one of that one. This one too. This is like um, a movie. This was actually pretty good. This was like a Redbox exclusive movie. So that's really weird. They even have this in here. You couldn't even buy this one from what I remember. This is only available to rent in Redbox. And that's so funny that they have that. It's fun, from what I can remember, that's what it was. It was a Redbox exclusive one. Let's see, Night of Horrors. This one I would definitely have been buying if I didn't get that one already. I got that in Walmart before. There's a lot of ones in here. There definitely is a lot this time around. Tom Middlehitch movie here. I don't, don't know this movie at all. Derailed, I believe I got this one already before. Coven, what is this one here? I don't have this. Coven, yeah, I definitely do not have that one. There's a lot, like I said, there's a lot of horror ones in here today. Another Krampus one, My Pet Dinosaur, Blood Moon here. Let's see, Crossbreed. This is like a Vivica A. Fox, Daniel Baldwin movie. Yeah, there's a lot of ones in here. Crying Wolf, Abominable. I didn't buy that one too, yeah, there's... So I'm sort of glad I, I waited and didn't buy these ones at Walmart. Just get them for a dollar now. American dresser. Yeah, this is the first time I found this many ones that I haven't had I gotten before. This thing here. Dog's life collection. Now these are like dog, like they're not the ones you're thinking of, like the dog's tail ones or dogs are like the other ones. There's a lot in here today. Let's see. This one, Epicenter here. This is like seven, like you know, disaster kind of movies. They have Are the Dead. This is you know the Mahals. I worked on the movie that they did, the Night of the Tommy Knockers uh, one, uh, recently. Let's see. Another set here. Last assignment. The clinic here. Recall. Asteroid. My pet dinosaur. Dark house. So this dark house one here has. Um, yeah. So you have to check. See this one has just the movie. This one includes two bonus movies. So if you're gonna, if you want Dark House, look for that one if they have it and everything. Scent. I don't think I bought this one either. There's a lot of ones in here that I don't think I bought this. That, no, Crescent movie. Derail, I'm just making sure I don't skip over anything. They have a lot more of those um, Stockholm ones. Unicorn, Life Form, Shop, Crossbreed, Night of Horrors. Anger of the Dead, Coven, Are the Dead, Driven, another copy of the Atrium One, Giant Pear, Back Fork, let's see, those are down, it's like all these things are like falling on top of each other. This one, this has been in here before, Warning Shop, but that was a pretty good one too, if you guys come across that one. Yeah, there's one like Listen Up Philip Morris. This is like a different cover. I think this came out in the US from like M, like IFC or something like that. And that's like a different, like the Canadian release version of that one. Officer Down, Driven. All these ones are the same ones here. Anger of the Dead, what's it, The Coven, I showed that one. Are the Dead, another copy of Abominable. Uh, 
five fingers for Marshalls, Tobin. What's this one here? Oh, Gates of Darkness here, like Tobin Bell, uh, John Savage one, Number One Born. Let's see any other ones? Let's make sure I don't miss any of these ones. There's definitely, like I said, there's definitely a lot of ones in here. Voodoo Apocalypse. Krampus. Third row. What is this one? Moon Maliath here? This one, I've, I've definitely not seen this uncorked one here. Trapped, you know, rescue or bait. That one looks kind of interesting as well. I've definitely not seen that one. Like I said, there's a lot of ones in here today. You're definitely very surprised with how much I've seen. I haven't seen this much new and like di different ones for in a long time. Let's see. Surviving. Surviving in the Wild here, some John Voight movie. And here's some Blu-rays hidden over here, a whole bunch of them. Traded, Tidal Wave here, it's Tidal Wave movie, Humanity Bureau, Little Miss Doolittle, let's see, Air Wave, War Pigs, Edge of 17. And that's funny, this is like definitely the, um, the Canadian version of this one too, because then this is a totally different cover and everything. This is a good movie though, if you guys see this one, here, but this is out, you know, in the U.S. came out from Universal, so that's like a different version of that one. But yeah, definitely was a lot of stuff in here today, so found a bunch of things in here today. Yeah, but in there, though, I ended up finding a whole bunch of stuff today. Like I said, I, this is the most stuff I found in a long time. Let me know, though, in the comments below, though, what you guys ended up picking up today if you ended up going to any of the Dollar Trees. And everything like I said I, this is like I said the most in a really long time but I got this one this like Moonlieth or however you're saying this one the one that's like in the car one uh, this the one the Crescent one this is the one that has like the bonus movies like so always checking there like I was showing how the one had um, the, the one without the bonus movies and the other one had the bonus ones this Danny Trejo one cartel you know uh, 2045 one here uh, this one, however you say this one, Coche or how, I'm not, I have no idea. Uh, the Boogeyman one, like, I, I, and this one I never remember seeing in Walmart or anything. It says on the back, sci-fi film. So I guess it was a sci-fi original one. This one, Atrium one. This one, this one looked interesting. Like, this is one I was definitely interested in seeing uh, for sure. This Gansfield Haunting one in here. That was like the Walmart Select one. The, um, the Dark House. I was just surprising how many horror ones were in there today. The Abominable one. I'm, like I said, I'm really glad too that I did not buy these ones when they were like $9.99 or $12.99 and waited and they were for a dollar. Uh, Coven, that one in here. And then this one, like I said, I was really surprised to see this because I don't remember this being sold anywhere. I just remember, you know, I got a copy of this to review like it was like a red box disc that they sent me to review. But I don't remember actually like seeing a physical copy of this in the U.S. that you could buy. The, um, the Stockholm one. This was actually really good. Like I was really surprised with how good this one was. But like I said, let me know in the comments below, though, if you guys went to the, any Dollar Trees. Let me know any ones that you guys found. Let me know any other horror ones that you guys, you know, saw or came across, you know, different ones and everything. Anyway, though, guys, like I always say, if you guys enjoy these Dollar Tree, uh, Dollar DVD and Blu-ray shopping videos, uh, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching and subscribing, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.